We've had quite an exciting delivery here at Ultimate Pool HQ, and uh, as you can see, it's coming out in a big new box, and it is. There was a certain sort of patter with this sort of stuff that I've never been able quite to get, but it's the brand new Ultimate Pool Master Q collection. Now, I might know one or two things about the game of eight ball. I don't know very much about Q, so I found a man who sort of knows what he's talking about with the, uh, with the legend Gareth Potts. And guys, I'm gonna sort of put this, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get you to put this together. Okay. And sort of, this is a, just a first impressions video. So what, what, talk us through what you're, what you're sort of looking at when you first get a Q and, and all the rest of it, yeah. how, how it sort of feels. I mean, the first thing that you would look at or I would look at with a Q is the design on the bot. This one in particular has got a really nice, the first thing I noticed is it's got really nice detailing to the butt of the Q. <clears throat> so the butt of the Q is ebony. And the first thing you would look at, I suppose, when you're buying a Q is do you aesthetically like what the bot looks like because there's so many different designs yeah and ultimate pool actually do have several different colors this was the one that i, I sort of picked out i do like the the sort of dark design I think it looks looks, looks a bit sexy. yeah well it looks like it's almost like a bit of a dark rosewood um and even inside the rosewood a lot what a lot of people are going for these days is there's a snake wood so as you can see there there's a little a lot of detail and pattern in the wood that looks a bit snaky um black ebony that's also got some detailing through it. I personally really like this design, but look, they do them in all different colors. Loads of cues that you see have like mad orange and red spices. So, you know, a bit pretty, more classical guys, you know. Really. Yeah, a bit more classical, <laughs> mate. I think that suits you that one. And then the next thing you would look at, and for me, the most important is what the chevrons look like down the queue. So the chevrons are basically these arrows that run in a line down the queue. And actually not a lot of people know this, but these are effectively an aiming guide. So when I you- I know I need that. Yeah, I think you, <laughs> after seeing you practice early, I think you definitely need these. But no, when you screw the queue together, you see the Ultimate Pool logo here. This now runs in line when it locks into position um, down these splices and in a dead straight line all the way down these chevrons. So the first thing I would look at is, are these lined up? Yes, they are in a dead straight line. How many chevrons is there? That would be personal preference. Some people like a lot, some people like less, some people like them a bit closer together. I personally like it where you see here, we have these sort of four chevrons at the end, which are a nice equal distance apart. I personally like it when there's a gap between the end chevron and the ferrule, because it's just a visual thing. But when I'm looking down the queue, because ultimately it's what you see when you're on the shot is what you're looking down the queue. I like there to be a nice little space here between the last chevron um, and the ferrule, which there is really arrows here. The chevrons are really dominant. You can see sometimes the, the ash, because that's what this queue is. It's, um, it's made from ash wood. So the ash has got these really nice markings on them. And sometimes they're lighter, sometimes they're darker. This particular one, they're darker, so they really pop out um, yeah and I actually um, really like the, the the design of the queue so this must mean that you're going to become a good pool player with this <laughs> I wouldn't get too far out of yourself but I mean th this is important to say isn't it because this isn't a queue for players like yourself who will have lovely people make you gorgeous handmade cues and all the rest of it but actually for for people like me who are playing more and more as Ultimate Pool gets more and more popular it's a pretty good entry into the market isn't it yeah it is and look you know ultimately cues are it's about what you do with them at the end of the day of well, course quite a few of our pros use rack cues that they picked up when they were 14 yeah and it's because you get used to what the cue does you know when you play with side how it spins when you play with screw back how much it comes back there's a lot of different factors that you know you think about when you're playing with the cue and you know you can have the most expensive cue in the world it doesn't mean that you're going to play better with it it's what you get used to so you know these things is what i would check when purchasing a queue, if you like it, if you like the arrows. And a lot of the, you know, the tip size is another important one. You know, I think that the tip size here would be around about nine millimeter, which I think is perfect, especially for someone, um, you know. Tell you, it's an 8.5. 8.5, is it? Okay, tip, well, it? there you go. And the good, the, the thing with this is, I already noticed that I can see it's quite whippy. So what I'm doing here is I'm holding the butt of the queue. I'm just banging the bottom, and you can see the bottom, the top of the queues that there is just quivering. That tells me how much whip is in the queue. And what I mean by how much whip is, 
when you're playing with side spin, it's how much the, the, the cue ball will deviate offline before it gets to the ball. That tells me that how whippy this cue is, that I'll be able to get quite a lot of side spin and back spin on with this cue, which ultimately is, you know, what you need to do. So, yeah, I actually think that um, that is a pretty nice cue. And, um, yeah, I think you'll hopefully be able to do it justice. Yeah, I might have to keep it now, eh? But, uh, right, that's the cue. And if I actually want to learn how to pots and balls, I'll check out your masterclass video. But thanks for the first impressions. Ultimate Pool Cues, the master range is available now, ultimatepoolshop.com.